Konnichiwa, mina. Boku wa Jeremy desu. Yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Today is day 296. We're getting close to day 300. Wow. And then after that, it's like 54 days until the end of the year. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> Today is uh, October the 23rd. It is Thursday, 2014. And uh, happy birthday to my goddaughter, Sequin. Uh, I hope that you have a wonderful day. I don't know if you watch the videos, probably not. You're quite young still, but uh, happy birthday nonetheless. And also to you, Elijah. Happy birthday, man. All right, uh, so it is getting closer to Halloween, of course, which is happening next Friday. Not this, not tomorrow, but next Friday, a week tomorrow. Wow. Unbelievable. <laughs> there as well. So I figured I would tell you a little bit of a creepy thing that happened to me yesterday. Creepy in some senses, it doesn't really bother me that much, because um, I've told you before that I am not so much f afraid of spiders, but I'm terrified of wasps. Um, I was sitting down in my little hovel area over there, where you've seen me before at my computer, and uh, it was nighttime, so I'm sitting there, and I was just about to sit down to watch the latest episode of Ghost Adventures. How fitting, eh? And I had a glass of Coca-Cola. Um, and it was sitting there, and I went to go and reach for it, <laughs> and there was a giant spider on the glass, and I touched it. <laughs> now, um, my brother, if it would have happened to him, he would have been screaming his head off. I'm not even joking, like, screaming. Um, I just, I, it startled me, so, because I feel this thing, and you're like, what is that? And you it was a rather big one. I think it was one of those house spiders. I think they call them a giant house spider, but whatever. Um, so I just grabbed the vacuum cleaner. It was moving very slowly. I don't know why, but I, and you know what? I kind of felt bad vacuuming it up. But it's gone. So uh, it's not the first time I've had a spider crawl on my hand before. I've had it happen um, at my work, actually, the very first year that I worked there. There was a game that we had called the uh, Wheel em In and it's uh, on a conveyor belt. There's these tickets that are drawn on there and you have to get the token lined up directly in the dead center of one of the tickets. And at the end of the conveyor belt, at the end of the ticket things that are drawn on it, they have an amount. So you can like 50, 75, 25. We don't have it anymore, but it was a three lane game. So there was three people could play at once and it was, it was our most popular game at one point. And you'd have to open the middle one to go in and reach the tokens to dump them into the bucket and put them back in because you reuse tokens, of course. And I did, I put my hand in there one day and this black widow, I'm not even joking, a black widow came up, crawled across my hand and then just went about this merry way. That was a bit worrisome because, well, it's a black widow. But uh, <laughs> I still haven't been bitten yet, knock on wood. Yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, my friend Dana, who also used to work for me, or with me, sorry, um, she actually had a black widow crawl up her arm, and then she put, or she put her hand down in one of those candy things, like the plastic ones, and it crawled right into there, and she kept it as a pet for, for about a year and a half, actually. Even went to Vernon with her when she went to take over the management of the store out there, and she called it the widower. And, uh, it was, I think she took a brown recluse, and put it in there and that's what finally ended it because she would feed it other spiders for whatever reason and the widower would always win. I don't know. We were pretty fucked up but whatever. <laughs> anyway, so that's my little creepy thing. Um, but one of my things that I love to do before going to bed is I'll read a ghost story, um, uh, ghost stories of Alberta are some of my favorites because I'm from Alberta actually. And uh, but I'll also watch things like Ghost Adventures. I really really enjoy that that series with uh, Zach um, Bray, Zach Bagan, I think is his name, uh, Nick Groff and Aaron, I forget Aaron's last name, but it's a really good show, I really enjoy it, and yeah, it's, a lot of people give it flack, because it's these three guys, you know, they're like muscle guys, and they're like, dude, you know, like that sort of thing, but I really enjoy it, and they actually do use some neat equipment and stuff, the one I watched yesterday, it was called Zozo, and it was talking about a demon that was, um, conjured from a, using a, a Ouija board, and that, that kind of skit, er, skit, that kind of skit is sherry. That shit is scary. God, I can't talk sometimes. Um, that's one thing I won't touch is a Ouija board. My mom always warned us against that. She said, don't, don't mess with that shit. And I totally, I listened to her. What I did find the other day is something that I had long forgotten about. And that was my tarot card set. 
and I've never actually really learned how to use them exactly. I'd like to kind of go into it more and 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 learn more about it. But uh, a lot of people are fearful of the the death card, but really it's not the worst one in the deck. I'd be more scared of the tower or, or the magician. But um, yeah, these were oh gosh, these were hidden away somewhere for a long time. So. Uh, but that kind of stuff, you never, whether you believe in it or not, you never know what you're going to get with it, right? So it's better sometimes just to leave things alone. But uh, as we get closer to Halloween, there's going to be a lot of occult stuff coming out. And, uh, of course, candy. Have you seen the price of candy lately? It's unbelievable. Here in Canada, anyway, like for a box of the mini chocolate bars, it can go like up to $23 for 90 of the mini ones. Like, what the fuck? I remember when they were like $10. Not even that long ago, so, but maybe it has to do with the rising costs of cocoa. It's possible. I will show you guys something. I was all excited today because I got my first issue of Men's Health that's actually on my prescription, my, my subscription. See, look at that. My name. If you can see it, I don't want to show my address, but my name. And uh, so yeah, my first issue of a year subscription of it, so I'm really excited about that. I felt this was something that was definitely worth investing in because I really want to work on my body stuff. Um, and I'm not too too bad with it and learning new things all the time. And I was bad today. <laughs> I went to Toys R Us. Oh, that's Baby R Us. Toys R Us. We have a lot of people asking us, asking me from the states, what kind of stores we have up here, and if we have certain stores like you do. Well, we do have Toys R Us, and um, I went into the action figures area. I haven't bought myself an action figure in a long time, but you remember the other day I was going on about my collection of Power Ranger stuff. Well, I just happened to come across the Green Ranger and the White Ranger, so I had to get those. Both Tommy, of course. Um, I'm really glad that they've gone back to the uh, original Power Rangers stuff. Um, I really liked the Red Ranger and the Green Ranger were always my favorites. Uh, Tommy and Jason, of course, J Jason being Red Ranger. And well, they mixed it up a lot. And it's just nice that they're kind of going back toward to or the the, the I can talk um, towards that stuff. I was looking at the die cast versions of the Power Morpher, and I really wanted to get that too. But it's like fifty dollars, and I don't have that right now. Those were about sixteen ninety nine um, each, so not too too bad. And I'll probably just keep them in the boxes. I'll put them up with my Sailor Moon collection. And if I ever get to meet Jason David Frank sometime, maybe at a convention or whatever, I will see if he will sign those for me. Sorry that the camera's moving. Bailey's like literally right at the bottom of the tripod, and she's cleaning herself. Like, I wonder if I can actually. Can I? Yeah, there she is, Bailey. Bailey. Hi. <laughs> so, that's if you're wondering why it was shaking, it's because she was cleaning herself. And uh, also, the Dragon Zord. They have the Dragon Zord. Oh, I'm not a robots fan. I was never really into Transformers. Well, that's really, really up high. Um, but I've always loved Power Ranger stuff. And as you guys saw before, I do have the Megazord, the original one. I'd love to get the Dragon Zord and Titanus if I could. That would be neat. And they have the Green Ranger sword thing that he does the music and stuff on. So that's eighty dollars. So is the Dragon Zord. Didn't see Titanus, but I'm sure he's probably over a hundred. <sighs> Wish I had more money. That laugh you hear is my friend Ashley upstairs. <laughs> anyway, okay, this video is already long enough. I should let you guys go. Tomorrow is Friday, of course. It is a, another song video day. Um, tonight being Thursday is uh, Got Talent or Not still at the Rock and Firkin. Um, it's round two. Well, sorry. Not technically round two, it's round two of the preliminaries. There's four days, I, there was last week, this Thursday, next Thursday, and the Thursday after. And then the semifinals, which I'm in already. Um, so I'm really excited and looking forward to that. Still putting together what I'm gonna do for it, but I will let you know as that progresses. And, yeah. I don't even know what song I'm gonna do tomorrow, but I'll figure something out. All right. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Uh, let me know what you think about tarot cards. 
And if you have ghost stories to tell, I'd love to hear those or read about them if you have them. Have you ever had any experiences with ghost stuff? I really am a believer in that. I love, I love occult stuff. I love ghost stuff. I, I just that's something I've, I've loved. I've, you've probably seen my book collections before. I have tons of ghost story things. Um, I have not personally seen a ghost. Like to actually see it, I have felt things before. Um, whether that's my imagination or, or what it could be, I don't know. But I like to believe that it is a ghost. And uh, maybe one day I'll get to see something. Um, although be careful what you wish for, as people say. So, yeah. Anyway, Jamatane Mina. I will see you later. Bye-bye.